Hello everyone, hope you've watched the last two videos. This is video three of four. It's about uh, looking at alternatives to the SKX. This is my friends, all modded up. Nice aftermarket bracelet, solid end links. Um, yeah, and it looks fantastic. It's just they're too expensive for me to consider buying a new one. And at the moment, the used prices are greater than I'm prepared to pay. It's kind of artificially inflated. Although, you know, so many of these have been produced. Um, 7S26 movement mineral crystal is just not good enough. For over 300 pounds, I think, around 300 pounds, you're going to pay for a basic one SKX09 with a rubber strap. So, I did say the Ratio Deep Diver came with a genuine Seiko strap, and there it is. As you can see it's pretty just uh, I suppose if you were diving it would be good but um, fitting the strap onto that with that kind of end link there's just no clearance between the um, spring bars and the case on that so I just wanted to show you those and this is a nylon strap I tried to fit on that uh, ratio free diver so again not a thick strap just such a struggle to get it on and finally that's the loom pip that came out of the ratio free diver so i'll just show you that before we move on so the next watch i'm, I'm going to look at was a real surprise um, it came again from creation watches because they do some excellent deals um, i'll give you the price at the end what i paid for this because i'm going to bet you're going to be surprised so I'm going to move that out of the way, that's got nothing to do with it. This is what I picked up and it, I got a message from um, Creation Watches that they had a special offer or vouchers. It wasn't a lot, it was like 5% I think, which um, it made a difference but it wasn't the deciding factor in this. This is an Orient Mako 2. Um, I'll just run through some stats quickly if I can find them. The diameter is 41.6 millimeters, the thickness 13.2 millimeters, so that's pretty good. Um, it does hack, it does hand wind. The lug to lug difference is 46.8, so it's uh, a bit greater than the SKXs, but they are female end links. So, if you've got a smaller wrist, that's going to be better and it does wear very well um, it's got mineral crystal which you'd expect to that the part I paid for this you, I really would expect that so with this metal strap on it's 161 grams so it's for me it's right in this in the sweet spot um, it is a solid strap the end links are hollow but it's got a signed buckle um, it's just got a plain pressed clasp in there I haven't got a problem with that, it's robust, it looks uh, like it's going to last a long time, I just haven't, to, at this price point, it's more than acceptable. Um, case back is um, solid, it's just got the Orient name, a bit of etching on there, and a few details of the watch, so it is water resistant at 200 meters, made in Japan. Oh, I expect it's cased in China for the movements made in Japan uh, keeps excellent time I put it on the time grapher and it's basically spot on in this position um, my opinion the time grapher unless you're best way to, to time a watch is to actually wear it because your wrist moves in so many different positions you can't replicate that on a time grapher it just gives you a good idea um, amplitude um, the beat error so this this was on zero zero beat error and it was running i think in this position about two seconds fast it's got an applied orient logo applied markers around with the arabics also applied nice bit of lumen there sword hands with the red tip on the second hand which really does give it a nice bit of um, color on there 
so it does look like a much more expensive watch than the SKX I think it's got the um, chrome or metal windows around the day date it's a pity the day date window or the day date wheels aren't color matched to the dial but I can live with that uh, aluminium bezels it's not a standard aluminium bezel it's um, got these little steps in as you each five or 15 second what are we on there 15 5 15 25 35 45 55 so it's got little steps in so I don't think you're going to be replacing that anytime soon mineral glass I'm sure you could replace that for a sapphire if and when it scratches um, at least it's honest it says it's mineral glass and not some in-house made up glass mentioning no name Seiko <laughs> right onto the bezel bezel action is a little stiff mainly because it's thin that's, that was going to be one of my complaints was it's thin but I don't mind that because it means I'm not going to accidentally move this around it's harder with gloves on but I can still do it fine it's just a bit on the thin side but finishing is good it's got a signed crown uh, that really is the only other complaint I've got is the crown is a little bit on the small side it would have been better if it was just a little larger it's got these crown protectors there so but under the loop the finishing on this is uh, I can't fault it for at the price point so I'm going to get on to the price now with the discount code I got with this um, creation watches offer a range of postal options uh, one of them is via airmail with a collapsible packaging box and for that that was the cheapest posters option the only downside of that is you don't get the Orient box if you're not worried about you receiving the um, box as I wasn't I just wanted to get the watch as cheaply as possible because it's looking at alternatives to the SKX with value in mind so that's what I did now the watch I paid £94 for and the airmail shipping to me was less than £10 so for that price it's unbeatable you could buy three of these with that kind of postage for the price of one SKX and you're getting hacking and hand winding in my opinion and it is only my opinion you're getting a much um, better looking or how can I put this the SKX style is fairly rudimentary whereas I think this is uh, obviously some thoughts gone into this it's got uh, silver edged baton markers um, silver edged Arabic numerals you've got the chrome window when the day date it just looks like a much more expensive watch alignment is fantastic I've got no problems with alignment um, yeah it's just really really good so when I got this uh, well I saw the price and I got this I was made up um, I can't tell you much about the movement because this is the first Orient watch that I've had um, I did wear this for about a week before I went on holiday so I didn't take it on holiday I will do a separate video and I took two watch on holiday so um, I'll be keeping this but the Orient Freediver will uh, sorry the um, Freediver watch will be up for sale and like I said in that video I'm obviously going to make a loss on that but I'm not going to wear it um, I'm just going to bring the SKX back in for the price this is obviously my friend's watch that I've refurbed for and it's come out it's not the cheapest way to go about it um, I keep an eye on the, the used prices they still seem to be inflated I mean it is nice to have a genuine um, SKX watch 
but you've got to ask yourself at well, what price you've got to set your own it's up to you you know if you um if it really means that much to you and you're happy to pay those sort of prices uh, creation watches have got the metal bracelet watches on there i think they did have anyway um if you're happy to pay the extra to get that just so that you've got a, an original skx that's completely unmolested and you're happy to accept the seiko hard or mineral glass and the sk uh, 7s 26 movement if you're happy for that then all power to you um, for me i'm not prepared to do that and i'm not prepared to pay the prices people are asking for used at the moment so i'm sure at some point in time something will come along that's been my motto in life really something will always turn up um, and it's you know it's served me well that so perhaps my friend will give me this as if i could be so lucky right so this is video number three or four um this is the lead contender for me uh, obviously because i bought it uh, i've got one more watch to show you which is my friend's work watch and that'll be coming up in video four so thank you very much for watching i do appreciate it uh feel free to like a com leave a comment like subscribe um, coming into the winter months the videos will be a bit more regular because I won't be going out so much so I'll be uh, a bit more regimented in the video production department so anyway thanks for looking and I'll see you later